Okay, we have another triangle that has two sides and a given angle. So we're going to solve this one again by using the law of sines. Okay, we'll start with our given ratio. Sine of 50 degrees over 1. Again, that's the side opposite the given angle. We only have enough information to solve for angle A, so we're going to do sine A over uh, 2. You know, we don't have enough information with B, so the only one we can, we can attempt to solve for is going to be uh, angle A. Okay, so when we cross multiply, sine A equals 2 sine 50. And we want to put 2 sine 50 into our calculator. We get sine A is equal to, we'll get about 1.53 with some more decimals. You want to take the inverse of both sides. So A is equal to the inverse of 1.53 continuing. Now if you put this in your calculator, what you're going to notice is your calculator is going to give you an error. It'll say domain error or it's not going to be able to give you an answer. Now the reason why that is, is we can see actually right here. We have a sine is equal to a number that's not between negative 1 and 1. In previous sections we talked about that your sine and cosine come from the unit circle. Well, unit circle, the largest value you could have is 1, and the smallest value you can have is negative 1. So this value here does not fit between negative 1 and 1. Well, then that means that that value is not actually on the circle. We're not able to get a value for it. So in this case, because you get an error, that means that, it, that the whole problem is going to be no solution. That means it's actually not possible to draw the triangle this way. So you may see problems written out this way in a text or online and it's, it's basically a lie. It's basically telling you that the triangle can be drawn when in fact it actually can't. We actually prove through the algebra uh, that it's not possible to draw that one. So the question is, well, what's actually physically happening here? So I want to show you physically what's happening with this particular problem. I'm going to actually draw this triangle out for you uh, using real measurements here on this. And so I'm going to, let, I'm going to go ahead and draw in an, uh, fit a 50 degree angle using a protractor. Now of course uh, you're not required to draw, draw in my class with this much accuracy, but I want to go ahead and show you what that would look like. So here I'm going to go ahead and draw this out. Here would be a 50 degree angle would look like that. I'm going to go ahead and draw this in. The ruler, I'm going to go ahead and let that equal one ruler is going to represent one unit. So because I have a two here, I have to draw out uh, one more, and that's going to take me up to here. And so that's two ruler lengths. This is going to be a two, and this angle I drew accurately to be 50 degrees. Well, you can already see what's happening here. If I try and connect the arrow, uh, or the, the ruler going down this direction, what's going to happen is it's not physically long enough to come down and reach and finish this. Even if I extend all this out to here, that's not long enough to form a complete triangle. So therefore, that's why this actually doesn't work. So I drew that in. This is a ruler length of two, and this is one unit. 50 degrees is just too high. That's why a physics can't be drawn. So that's why the math doesn't work here. When you do that, it's, it is possible that you could have no solution for a triangle like this. That's why the math didn't work out. We got an error in our calculator. It's just not physically possible to draw this.